Hi, my name is Raj Johal. I work here at the Honda office in the Middle East and I'm responsible for training. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Honda Sensing. So Honda Sensing is a safety suite of driver assistive technologies. So it's designed to reduce driver fatigue, but also take care of some of the normal activities you would do in the car automatically. And it also looks out for hazards around the road. So maybe somebody crossing the road or when you're changing lanes, it helps you to keep the car within the lane. So we have a radar at the front of the car, okay, which scans the road ahead up to 1,000 meters. And we have a camera mounted onto the windscreen, so which looks at also the lane keeping markings, uh, pedestrians. So basically both camera and the radar work together to provide these safety technologies. So Honda Sensing, as I mentioned, is a comprehensive suite of safety technologies. So in there we have road departure mitigation. So if the vehicle swerves to one lane or the other, the steering will automatically correct and bring you back in line. We have lane keeping assist, so which works in, on highways and keeps the vehicle within the lanes. We have collision mitigation braking system, so if you're distracted for a short period, the vehicle automatically provides a warning, plus provides some braking already for you to stop the vehicle. Other parts of Honda Sensing are pedestrian detection, so at low speed, so the camera and the radar work together to detect a pedestrian and apply the brakes to bring the vehicle to a stop in case you uh, may hit the pedestrian. Also, we have head-on collision warning, so under 30 kilometers an hour, if a car is heading towards you, you will get some audio and visual warning plus tactile warnings. So in the display, you will get an orange indicator to, which comes up to say, look, do something, and the steering wheel will vibrate if a vehicle is heading towards you. Other parts of Honda Sensing also include blind spot information, and also rear cross traffic monitor. So those work with the radars located in the rear bumpers and uh, basically look at vehicles which are coming on your blind spot. But the Accord is fitted with lane watch. So when you indicate, you will see a clear view of whatever lane you're changing into onto your display audio screen. So we have uh, various different parts of Honda Sensing fitted to various different vehicles. So if we take the Honda Accord, that has most of the Honda Sensing features fitted, apart from blind spot information and rear cross traffic monitor. But then if we take the Honda Odyssey, which has all of the items I explained earlier, so lane departure warning, forward collision warning, collision mitigation braking, uh, pedestrian detection, um, many, many other things. So those are all fitted on Honda Odyssey. Honda Odyssey J has some of those features, but the previous generation Accord was also fitted with Honda Sensing, but not all of the features you will find in the new Accord, which has adaptive cruise control with low speed following. So there are four models essentially fitted with Honda Sensing but different parts of Honda Sensing depending on the model type.